Good day. How are you doing today? And how are you feeling? Well, I hope that you are having a beautiful day. It's such a chilly morning for me. I'm still on my robe. But it's still morning and Careful. I'm planning to make some something for lunch for me and Riley. So I'm not gonna make a lot. It's just like a two servings for me and Riley. Since there's only two of us today. And you know, I figured I would open the camera and tag you guys along while I work on cooking this lunch. Well I'm back, I'm here to love you again. <laughs> so um I have the chicken and have gonna uh, mix it with some pasta today that's what i have in mind now let me continue prepare all the materials while you are Hi. there um thank you so much for your precious time and for joining with me and i hope that you can finish the video and be with me till the end of time i mean till the end of this video so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and thank you very much if you already done so now i'd like to do a quick shout out to all my uh friends out there my ex-co-workers and my bosses my neighbors my family of course and to all the beautiful people in michigan and uh, my friends in texas new york and australia and philippines a lot more around the world i i shall say that every everyone are from around the world yeah so uh, let me continue the work here and it's already cut like that okay and i'm just gonna keep stirring it until they are well blended together. I don't know if you like onions. But if you don't like onion, you can just tell me. And we'll make it to your preference. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. This one. First, let's cut some tomatoes. Oops. Okay. Okay, let me grab the tomato and cut the tomato first. So, by the way, I am using all these materials right in front of you guys. So, that's the pasta I've used, the elbows. And I have already poured some uh, honey mustard. That's what I've been uh, going to be using. Also some basil. Um, basil leaves. I should have used the fresh, but I don't have it, of course. And adding some paprika, salt, and pepper later on. And also I have the tomatoes cut and ready for you. And let's continue cooking so to be honest with you i am really really cold today because um i think this weekend is really cold for me maybe in the 60s but you know when i was still i remember when i was still up in new york 60s would be like my summer feels like summer to me because we always had like 10 degrees 20 degrees um fahrenheit fahrenheit yeah fahrenheit not celsius so 60s would be like a summer to me over there and here since i've been living here in texas for like three years now um when it hits this low 60s 70s i feel really cold 
I'm getting used to the Texas weather and I like the warm weather guys I don't blame you if you like the cold because um, some people like the colder and there are people like me that likes warmer so I mean let's just continue cooking okay now we're gonna add it That's good enough. Some tomato sauce. And during this time, I am going to add uh, mustard this time. Okay. So sorry. Everything right, it's gonna be so creamy. I'm gonna add just a little bit of basil leaves, perfect. Hope you're doing well today. Okay, next, I will add some tomato paste. Okay, that should be good enough. Gonna stir it constantly this time. Now it's getting thicker. The consistency of this creamy sauce is now a little bit thick, thicker side, which I was looking for. So I think that is ready. Let me, let me get the pasta. I'll be right back with you guys. One second. Here's our pasta. I'm gonna uh, put it here. It's like mac and cheese. <laughs> it looks like it. Okay, I'm gonna grab a plate, get some for you. Okay, for you. I hope you like it. It doesn't look appealing, guys. So sorry. Um, I hope that you are happy. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> it's not looking so pretty right okay I can tell you now honestly I have to be honest it's not looking so yummy looking but well I'm gonna take a bite for you um, I worked so hard for this so it must taste delicious I pour my heart into it so i'm gonna take a bite for you open your mouth <laughs> let's eat together have fun guys take care i'll see you next time cheers okay so remember i bought this one i think it has been two months or three months ago and i really like this one it's like um like a counter table so it would fit uh, very nicely just for to have a little bit of table here in the kitchen if you want to eat quickly because the uh, dining table is, is super dark in there and the problem here is that i think i am losing 
some brain cells and I could not figure it out. I have this. So yeah, this is the instructions how to do it. It's just losing a lot of brain cell and I could not figure it out because I think it also needed some tools like a specific tools to be able to install this one yeah I am apologizing <laughs> because I think I showed this to you last time and like I said it has been um going three months that it's been still sitting here in the kitchen floor and um i am leaving in this kitchen soon again so i will um well my friend's husband was offering me if he could uh, install this but since i am leaving very soon um, I said that we'll just uh, do it next time anyway. So it should look like that, guys, once it is installed. All this, yeah, it should look like that. And there is, like I said, a step by step instruction here how to install this. It should be pretty easy if I have the right tools or tools, yeah. But just wanted to show it to you because I think I gave you a little clip of this last time that I was gonna um, assembly assembling this. But you're not seeing that it's done. It's just sitting here the whole time. And that is the reason why. Because um, I did not figure it out yet. And plus, I don't have uh, tools for it. But yeah, take care, love you, bye.